Disc brakes are used in many modern vehicles. This type of brake is also often used in motorsports. First, we want to explain a disc brake with a ventilated brake disc. An important component of the disc brake is the brake disc. The brake disc is divided into two parts and has small holes for better cooling. Another component is the caliper. Here, a monoblock caliper is shown. The caliper has caliper pistons on both sides. Caliper pistons are made of gray cast iron, steel, aluminum alloys, or plastics. Brake pads are located on both sides. Brake linings used to be made of asbestos. After the harmful effects of asbestos fibers became known, plastics were used. Caliper pistons are controlled by brake fluid and sealed with the help of sealing rings. Brake fluid enters the channels of the caliper via a hydraulic connection. The caliper pistons on the opposite side are supplied with brake fluid via one or more channels. As soon as the driver depresses the brake pedal, pressure is exerted on the brake fluid. This pressure then presses the caliper pistons against the carrier plate, whereby the brake linings are pressed against the brake disc. To prevent continuous grinding, a minimum distance between brake lining and brake disc is required. This clearance should be approximately one millimeter. A monoblock caliper with caliper pistons on both sides is the exception on the road. More often, floating calipers are used for normal cars. Floating calipers have one or more pistons on one side. Floating calipers are cheaper than fixed calipers. The caliper piston is pressed against the brake disc by pressure, whereby the entire caliper slides backwards and presses the opposite brake lining against the brake disc. <laughs>